This question is from gate 2016. Mechanical engineering paper set 3. Question number 10. The number of degrees of freedom in a planar mechanism having n links and j simple hinge joints is. So let's see. In a planar mechanism, first thing, every link has 3 degrees of freedom. So one is translatory motion in x direction, another translatory motion in y direction and the third is rotation theta. So when we write degrees of freedom of planar mechanism, if n is the number of links, we have 3 into n. Because the components are joined to each other at joints, some of their degrees of freedom are restrained. So first thing, in order to form a mechanism, we will have to have one link, at least one link to be grounded. And therefore, this has to be subtracted by 3. So for one link, all the three degrees of freedom will be locked up and they will not be free to move. Hence, we do it 3 into n minus 1. This is same as doing 3n minus 3. Further, when the link, successive links are joined to each other, their degrees of freedom are also reduced because that joint will together move the link either in x or y direction. So, so connected links have same translatory motion that is in x and y direction. They will move together and that is why we will have to subtract 2 degrees of freedom for each joint. So, in this formula we will substitute minus 2 into j, the number of joints. So, we can see degrees of freedom will be 3 into n minus 1 minus 2j where n is number of links and j represents the number of joints. Hence the correct option is option B. To learn about degrees of freedom in detail, you can refer to the NPTEL video lecture 4 degree of freedom from the course kinematics of mechanisms and machines by professor Anirvan Dasgupta. He is from department of mechanical engineering IIT Kharagpur. I hope this explanation will help you clear it out. Thank you.